Hey guys, Alia here. I uh, want to give you some tips that is going to help you so you succeed on your carnivore or ketovore or keto journey. And if you do these five things and you just keep repeating them and making sure that they're in, you're absolutely going to succeed because it's very, very simple. It's very simple. It's one of the simplest things you could possibly do actually is the carnivore diet. I know it sounds crazy, but it's a hundred percent the truth. So first thing you need to find your why, why are you doing it? You have to understand like why you're doing it. You can't be like, Oh, I want to, I want to lose some weight. That's not for most people, like a strong enough reason to stick to something or do something long-term. You, you need to find something like a little bit more personal. Maybe you're, you have mental health issues and you've heard stories of people try healing those by eating a carnivore diet, or maybe you have irritable bowel, or maybe you want to be there more for your kids, or maybe you're just trying to heal your body so you can be more present, or maybe you want to be more productive, whatever that reason is for you. You really got to figure that out. Like for me, you can go back and listen to those videos. When I first started my channel, I wanted to lose weight, of course, and I was having a lot of gut issues and, um, I had a long, lots of failures on weight loss and actually not connecting the two that my gut was affecting my weight loss because it was so, it was like, you know, all the symptoms I was having, of course I wasn't going to lose weight, but, but it was due to the bad foods that I was eating. So they kind of went together hand in glove, but just keeping that in mind, um, continuously while you're eating this way, keeping your purpose there is going to help you to like stay the course. And it's so important to stay the course as I recently learned when you fall off, you fall off. It just, it's like reversing all of your progress. Okay. So keep your why in mind too. When you decide to do it, go straight to your kitchen, go to the kitchen, get a garbage bag and just throw everything away. That's not on plan throw everything away. That's in a box. Like don't eat anything out of a box or that's prepackaged. Get all of that. Just put it in the garbage. It's most likely ultra highly processed and is toxic. Actually, if you eat it in most cases, I don't know your kitchen. I don't know exactly what you have in there, but just get rid of everything. That's not on plan. If I were to show you my very empty refrigerator right now, you all you would see it is like a few things in there, but, uh, you want to just have the things that are going to make it easy for you to succeed. If you have, you know, like cookies in the house, you're going to eat the cookies. So get rid of the cookies, just have the things that you need. And I also recommend, you know, having your fridge, like cooked bacon, having your fridge, uh, hard boiled eggs. Like if you get a craving for something while you're starting, you'll have it easily accessible. And that will be your go-to versus the sugar. If you feel like you need to eat something or you're having a sugar craving, like eat one of those things. Uh, and I think that Dr. Barry actually recommends like if you're craving something, eat bacon because it's very fatty and your cravings are going to go away. Okay. So yeah, throw all the garbage away. That's always what I say. Get everything out of your house. That's not on plan. Okay. That's in day one, when you start the carnivore diet or your keto journey or, or your keto board journey, your low carb, uh, journey, whatever, however you're calling it, whatever, however you're phrasing it, start making a list day one instantly, you know, like, uh, 300 pounds, 200 pounds day one. And then day two, uh, lost two pounds, uh, slept better. Uh, day three lost uh, half a pound and uh, my back hurts less. Like list everything that you notice as you go, like journal it, because that's going to also help you because if you could go back and be like, Oh wow, I fixed this. I fixed this. I fixed this. Look at my blood work. My A1C is normal. All of these things. And for those that don't know A1C, it is the, one of the blood tests that show whether or not you have diabetes or not. So I'm just mentioning that. Um, note it, write these things down because then you can go back. I have it on an Excel spreadsheet, for instance, go back and you can see the successes that you have because maybe you're, you, you've gone months and you're in this new normal and you've like, you don't really believe all of the wins that you had. You need to look back and realize everything that you've, you've gone through to get to where you are, because it's really not just about losing weight. It's about like complete body health. You're trying to get your health in order and what we put in our mouth definitely results in the health of our body or the sickness of our body. Five, number four, 
Number four, find your tribe, find your community. And luckily for you, the carnivore community is here on YouTube. We're just a bunch of crazies that like to talk about the carnivore diet. And we love to talk to people. We love to do live streams. We want to help everybody. We want to get as many people as possible into their best health of their lives. And so we're here for you. And you, I really recommend you find that because if you have that group, that dynamic together, it's so helpful to like, you know, you have people there that got your back and they want to help you. And I know you want to help us. And it's just this beautiful, harmonious relationship. But if you're off in some corner by yourself and you have these other influences around you that are like pulling you away, it can be hard to like stick to it. So really like find your community, find your tribe and it's going to really help you to make your long-term success of eating this way possible. And with that said, here's a plug. If you would like to come onto my channel, I am going to be doing interviews starting Saturday and Sunday mornings on my channel, pre-recorded interviews. And if you would like to share your success story, I would love to talk to you and share it. So there you go. Uh, feel free to shoot me an email. Okay. Five. This is super important when you're on the carnivore diet. Uh, you want to eat your meals until you're like fully satiated. Like don't eat like, like one egg. Don't eat like, uh, we're so used to eating like small little proportions of, you know, whatever. Don't do that. Not when you're starting out, you want to eat or don't do that ever. Cause you want to eat every time you eat till you're satiated. Two things are going to happen. Uh, if you do that immediately, you're going to be full get full and then you're not going to feel hungry for hours and maybe even some people don't eat for a day you're not going to do that at the beginning but you know eat one two or three meals until you're fully satiated and then don't snack and then you're not going to also have the urge to snack does that make sense you're not going to have the urge to eat because you're so full and that's kind of the beauty of it like we're eating these delicious fatty foods that our bodies need for optimum survival uh, an optimum health and uh, you don't want to you, you eventually get over the cravings for all of the garbage we've been indoctrinated into eating and then you get healthy so it's crazy so you just eat to your full and so you don't have your attention on wanting to eat other things and you'll realize very shortly thereafter that you're not going to eat as much you're not going to eat as many times or as frequently but when you do eat sit down eat what you want eat as much as you want that's per your plan and feel full and and then you won't feel like snacking so i think that's it those are the tips i wanted to give you if you follow those you're for sure going to succeed i mean there's a lot of other things you can be doing but i for me those are like very important steps to keep in um if i think of some more i'll do another video about it uh so i want to say this you we got your back i have faith that you can make it through if you're just starting this journey you you got this and all of us here, the hundreds of thousands of people, the thousands of carnivores, uh, we all got your back and we want you to succeed. And I absolutely know that you can do these steps, stick to your plan, make your list of success stories, your non-skill victories and, and keep going because it's so much better on the other side. Uh, one side there's feeling bad, there's illness. And on the other side, there's health and happiness and mental health and stability and just beautiful things that can happen in life. And those are waiting for you on the other side. I'm wishing you success. Talk to you later. Bye.